Okay guys, so today I'm uh, contouring the inside of my canopy and uh, I have marked where my forward hinge canopy hard points will be and uh, so right now I'm just contouring the thing just using whatever I can find that uh, seems to work at the time <laughs> like right now I'm using my finger and this rolled up piece of uh, 80 grit and that seems to work good because I can slide my hand over it and I can actually feel the ridges that I'm sanding so just working my way down the main thing is to make sure you I'm gonna leave these uh, hard points here level I'm not gonna fool with that and then I will dig that out but I want to contour everything first so yeah okay I pretty much got it contoured like I want it and uh, so now I'm just digging out these hard points I'm, I went ahead and put the canopy back on the fuselage and with the hinges installed and then I marked them so I'll know exactly where I want the hard points and basically these little tick marks here are the center line of where the bolts will go basically I'm going to dig this down all the way to the uh, carbon fiber slash fiberglass sandwich to the top and then I'll lay up uh, some fiberglass and I think I have some uh, scrap pieces of uh, carbon I'll also lay in there as my hard point just multiple layers Okay guys, February 18th, 2020. We're still working on the canopy. Uh, I now have my hard points in. This is where the front hinge hard points are. And these are for latches. And we've got uh, hard points for the handles, for the door, for the closure handles. So I've been thinking about this and I'm getting real close to um, glassing the inside of the canopy however there is one thing that concerns me and that is when I put the foam on here um, there's basically not much clearance between this and the lingerie which means there's no room uh, there's not enough room really to put a, a decent thickness uh, gasket or seal because after this is glassed this is going to sit when it closes it will sit on top of the lingerons so I've been thinking this over and I think the best option at this point before I glass it is I'm going to remove three-eighths of an inch where the canopy rests on the lingerons on both sides uh, I will then glass it and then I'll put a three-eighths inch seal there and I'm hoping that you know with the with that being glass that will take up a little bit of space and will allow for appropriate compression of the um, of the seal so in order to cut this gap I actually changed it to a quarter inch I thought 3 eighths was a little bit big after I got to looking at it so uh, what I did was I make some quarter inch little uh, I guess gauges where I want to uh, relieve the foam and here's after I have completed that I basically use my reciprocating little saw fiend tool and sandpaper on a block to make this little channel here I'll then uh, sand these hard points down to the level of that foam lots of work lots of work but I think it'll pay off because I'll have a canopy that'll have a really nice seal around the edge there and I, re I really want that So I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little bit of a groove left, to, and uh, I'll meet that groove with this uh, little block. Uh, put some uh, 50 grit on there, and just sand it down until I meet that that uh, that groove. That way, I know everything should be flush. 
and plum. Okay, so I wanted to check the gap that I uh, have between my canopy frame and the top of the longerons after I have uh, removed some of this foam. Basically, I removed a quarter of an inch of foam and uh, on both sides, sanded it down nice and flush. Then I took some Play-Doh and placed on top of the longerons that you see here. I then put the canopy on top of the longerons where it's supposed to be and allowed that to to compress the play-doh um, and I'm using that as a gauge height so I would know what size um, seal to put on there and basically this is 3 8 inch foam right here and pretty much they're all 3 8 of an inch thick so as we go along here we have three-eighths of an inch clearance between the top of the lingeron and the bottom of the canopy frame. So once I fiberglass the inside of the frame, I think a three-eighths inch seal should fit really nice. It would, it would have just a little bit of compression on it on the uh, lingeron. So a quarter inch seal would be too thin. So I'm going to order a 3 8 cent seal um, and go from there. Okay, I just wanted to do a final test fit on the uh, canard after I've got the fairing uh, fiberglass and I've got everything on and bolted. Everything's uh, nice and level and plumb. Um, I've got these little flanges right here so the wing kind of fares in right in here. Also up under the wing, uh, I made some little fairings so that, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a fairing that goes from here out about an inch and uh, just kind of tapers around, just makes it basically looks like kind of like a saddle for the wing. That's the left side, here's the right side. Yeah, so a little saddle under there. Everything's uh, works fine. All the elevators are nice and smooth. And um, I was going to show you what I did here on this uh, on this little cover here. Basically, I made it so that uh, rain, if it were to rain on it, uh, let's see if you can see this little lip that I made right here on the fairing. So there's a lip and this will slide in there. Let's see if I can do it one handed for you. Yeah. So, and then that sits there. And the whole thought is when, say, rainwater hits here, drain off into here and then on down. So, help minimize any water that gets into, uh, to get into the airplane. So, So then back up, show you kind of what I've got so far. That's what it looks like now. So the uh, next thing I'm going to do is I know the uh, canopy fits and I know that I've got a good 3 8 inch gap between the lingerons and the canopy frame. I'm going to uh, I'm going to use two layers of uh, bi-directional two layers of um, carbon fiber and two layers of unidirectional over all this that should make that sucker strong okay so I have uh, made some changes I did decide to go ahead and cut a groove in this part of the canopy frame that way I'll have a continuous seal also, I put the frame back on there, crawled inside, and um, marked where the inside lingerons will be, and figured out that I need to make this hard pad uh, a little bit bigger, a little wider. So I'm going to do that, and then uh, we'll let that set up tonight, and then tomorrow 
I will uh, start applying my layers of fiberglass and um, and then the um, carbon fiber. So, okay, guys, I have now got the canopy on and the hinges attached. So, I'm real excited because this thing actually works. And I'm going to see if I can demonstrate it here for you. And uh, forgive the the uh, video in because I'm doing this with one hand. But uh, <coughs> okay, so you can see the fit. Canopy looks great. All right, so I'm just going to lift up. And there we go. Wish you could see it better, but okay, let's see here. There you go. There's the hinges. It clears the front there as well. So and it's rock solid. You can see I used uh two layers of uh carbon fiber on the inside as well as the outside so works super smooth so. Let's see we'll look at it as it closes so wheat Pretty much all day yesterday I spent reinforcing the turtle back and glassing it to the firewall. Basically just um, just basically followed the plans. Um, well I did follow the plans exactly and uh, made the reinforcement layups from the side of the turtle back to the laundry runs as well as the firewall both inside and outside the specified layers. I got them peel plied. Uh, let's see. And this is the back. And uh, got it peel plied. This actually worked out pretty nice. Feels nice and smooth. So, today I'm going to continue on. I need to make these uh, the little plywood pieces that go right here and that's where the uh, pulleys are well that's where another pulley is held right here and then I can put in my Clark foam that goes in the center there and then uh, reinforce my uh, my top motor mount reinforcements gotta do that so Oh, uh, I did start working on the strakes also. So I've got the uh, strake ribs. Um, I built those in a previous video, but uh, I actually temporarily attached them, or I have attached them to the uh, to the spar at butt line 33 and butt line 57. And here's how I held my ribs. I just cut some blue foam, cut a slot in them so that I could uh, secure the rib. Used a table, leveled it from that way. Using my uh, my uh, butt line, I'm sorry, my water line, 14.7. So did that on both sides also. So kind of at least I have a start on the strakes. But I think today I'm mostly going to work on the uh, on the firewall here. Anyway, guys, this thing's coming along slowly but surely. Okay, so I'm about to wrap it up for the day. Um, but here's what I've gotten done so far. Um, if you can see, this is a string. It's actually dental floss that goes from just in front of my FS60 to the just inside the wing there and so that serves as my level line for the ribs as for R33 you can see it's right on 
dot and this is for rib 57 right on the dot also I added an in rib that's not in the plans but I've seen some other guys do that um, so I've got that rib put in as well and the string is right on the dot there same for both sides um, in addition to that I've also worked on the firewall um, I have the uh, Clark foam put in behind this bar here and I just temporarily have these plywood pieces tacked in I'm going to take those out because I don't have the screws that go in there for the um, for the pulleys that holds the, uh, the pulleys so anyway they'll easily come out and then all I'll have to do is just flotch those in and uh, this is my <laughs> this is my pressure application device here just laying on it, it's got a little board across there just keeps forward pressure on it as this is drying on the strikes and uh, if you can see over here I've got uh, I'm now putting the components in for that but also the uh, struts came in for my uh, forward hinge canopy and I was going to show you guys got them in so now it's closed obviously you can lift it easily with one hand I just wanted you guys to be able to see that. That's the forward hinge canopy. And uh, like I said, I got the struts in and it works. Everything lines up. Everything is nice. So continuing on working on the strikes. Okay, so not only have I worked on the canopy, as you see there, I've been working on the strikes today. And uh, kind of doing it a little bit different than the plans. Um, I am going to have the extended strike. So uh, next step will be to attach the leading edge strip that goes from here up to just in forward of the, of the fuselage. That's going to allow for a little easier wiring. <coughs> um, I'm just using Wayne Hicks method of uh, using the dental floss. Works great. Use that to such a line. You know it's perfect. Easy to do. Um, I just use some little... Uh, I just used my square and I made these little uh, these little T devices here to uh, set my elevation um, in order to keep everything in line I used this this piece of plywood that I've cut a slot out uh, for the rib and uh, that way I can clamp clamp this not only uh, well I can clamp the uh, leading edge and this is a continuous piece here that runs up under there so that way I know all these will be perfectly aligned as they go through the angle anyway okay trucking right along moving right along I'm so glad this uh, canopy is working it looks good it seals good I'm pleased with that okay let's keep working guys <laughs> 